hello friends Radhika Ravi Kumar here so welcome back to my tutorial so in this tutorial we'll see another major topic called uh, with clause so usually uh, we use this with clause uh, for one main purpose that is uh, to improve the performance of a query of whatever query that we're writing that's the reason we use this with clause so how exactly this with clause is like it is uh, very similar to our temporary tables most of you might be aware of this uh, GTT that is a global temporary table that we use uh, for uh, you know with the help of GTT we write uh, you know whenever we are writing a very big uh, uh, query uh, usually to make it very simple we club certain tables into GTT and then use that GTT table for writing the ma main query right so in the same way this bit clause is also used to you know uh, is used like a temporary table so that uh, you can use whatever query that you're writing within the with clause you can use that uh, with clause query into your major uh, or the main query okay so that's the reason we use this with clause so first uh, let us see how the syntax of the with clause looks like so the with clause always starts with the with okay then uh, you need to give some name to that with clause so name of the query okay as and within brackets you need to write your SQL query okay just close the uh, bracket and then you can say something like select this will be the uh, select star that will be your main query select star from whatever uh, name query name of the query that you have given in the with clause you can use that query with the other queries so this is how the syntax of the with clause looks like okay so going to the uh, you know some example uh, we will uh, take our mm, normal table that we usually use this table employee table so I will use this table and write a um, sample or an example for this with clause how we can do it so let me open the notepad so what exactly I'm going to do is I'm going to write a query where uh, we'll perform an operation uh, division operation on the salary of the employee with the total number of the employee in each department okay so this is nothing but a um, math operation by dividing the salary of an employee with the total number of employee in each department okay this is the main um, <coughs> sorry this is the main um, uh, function of the query that we are going to write how we are going to do this is do that is uh, first we'll write with and I'll give my with clause uh, uh, name as something like um, department name okay as within brackets what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my with clause query what it's going to do is select okay department number and the count of one Okay, how many employees are there in that department that's what it's going to fetch employee then group by obviously it's going to be department number okay so what is my with clause clause doing here it's just selecting the department number and how many uh, you know employees are there in that department and group it by department number okay so this is what is my with clause uh, query is and the main query what it's going to do is it's going to say select employee number then I'm going to say salary divided by okay let me just give a as uh, something like nm underscore emp so that salary divided by the total number of employee okay from employee uh, something like E and I'm going to use this department name here okay I'm going to say something like C 
where e dot department number is equal to c dot department number okay this is the query so let me just execute it and show you how it looks like so you can see the output uh, where uh, for each employee id we are seeing what is the average salary okay so this is what is about the with clause so hope you guys understood the with clause if there are any queries then do let me know and please share my video with your friends and uh, colleagues and uh, thank you very much uh, for supporting my channel till today and uh, i'll see you again in the next video thank you very much